City officials say violent crime is increasing in Minneapolis. Some believe hostility to the police may be driving that uptick. One of America's Bobby Dupree explains. I feel like people who want to do harm are getting more and more bold yeah. around here. Violent crime is surging in Minneapolis and some believe the problem could only get worse as the city's police department faces staffing challenges and increasing calls for its defunding. I think we're lacking that presence and so it's just a little bit intimidating. Uh, just thinking that, you know, uh, kind of a wild, wild west. Just like he said, uh, just people feel bold. You know, almost like, what's he going to do? More people have been shot in Minneapolis this year compared to the last five. Homicides have also increased with at least 41 reported so far this year. In 2019, there were only 48 homicides total. It's a global pandemic. It's the killing of George Floyd. It's the subsequent unrest. It's the economic downturn. It's unemployment. It's psychological factors. It's, it's mental health and distress. It's a lack of housing opportunities. It is so many things that ultimately compound. In July alone, there were reported 100 robberies and 20 carjackings in the third precinct. The Minneapolis city government recently sent a letter to its residents regarding the rise in violent crime. It offered tips to prevent robberies like be prepared to give up your cell phone or wallet. And if confronted by a violent robber, quote, do as they say. The criminals feel like they can do whatever they want to do. They know the police department is at a vulnerable state right now with, with staffing levels and with morale. Minneapolis police are down at least 100 officers in the last two months. Among them, over six dozen officers who have taken medical leave for PTSD in the wake of the riots. According to reports, some MPD officials believe the department could lose as much as a third of its workforce by the end of the year. With fewer officers, many find themselves stretched thin. I mean, they're going after the worst of the worst. When you have to deplete that unit to put them back on the street to cover the holes left by the cops who have been traumatically affected by the events of Memorial Day, um, it has an adverse reaction. Reports suggest Minneapolis may continue to struggle to cope with less officers amid the dramatic increase of violent crime. The city council recently voted to defund the police department and look for alternatives to traditional policing. Bobby Dupree, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.